Today we have brought you the latest Tesla news. Tesla Giga Shanghai has produced 26,000 vehicles since resuming production, reports suggest. Tesla battery supplier CATL executive says, no ICE vehicle sales by 2035 at the latest. It reteases 9,000-ton Giga Press with cool Tesla-inspired color scheme. And, PWN2 own hackers win $75,000 with Tesla Model 3 exploit. Let's get into all the details. So let's get started. Tesla China may be taking some time before it hits its pre-lockdown output levels, but it's getting there. Despite operating with only one shift since resuming vehicle production last month, Gigafactory Shanghai has been able to produce 26,000 vehicles. The information was related by China's Ministry of Industry and Information Technology, Myat, which published a post on its official WeChat account. According to the Myat, over 1,200 auto parts companies have also resumed work and production. This should help automakers like Tesla China ramp their production further. Shanghai is a crucial location for China's auto market, with the Myat estimating that about 11% of the country's auto production happens in the city. Auto parts suppliers also operate facilities in Shanghai. Gigafactory Shanghai's output would likely only increase from this point on. As indicated by posts on China's Douyin platform, Gigafactory Shanghai employees, who will be working on Giga Shanghai's second shift, are now arriving at the facility. Similar to the first shift workers already at the factory, the second shift employees will be temporarily living in Giga Shanghai as part of the company's closed-loop system. Reports have suggested that Tesla is looking to keep Giga Shanghai's workers in a closed-loop system through mid-June. It should be noted that Tesla is not the only company adopting a closed-loop approach. Fellow automaker General Motors, as well as suppliers like CATL, are also adopting a closed-loop approach in some of their China-based facilities. Tesla Gigafactory Shanghai halted its production on March 28, when the city entered a phased lockdown. Operations restarted on April 19, with 8,000 employees returning to work. Since then, Giga Shanghai has resumed its vehicle exports, though an official at Shanghai's new Lingang area stated that the facility was still operating at about 45% of its capacity. Moving to the next update, Tesla battery supplier CATL executive says, no ICE vehicle sales by 2035 at the latest. CATL, one of Tesla's key battery suppliers, recently shared some bold estimates on the auto industry's adoption of electric vehicles. According to a CATL executive, there will likely be no new internal combustion-powered cars on the market by 2030 or 2035 at the latest. The comments were made by Nai Jun, CATL's chief manufacturing officer, at the World Economic Forum's annual meeting in Switzerland. The trend is already happening, the executive said. The CATL executive's comments are not to be disregarded. CATL, after all, has a front-row seat in the ongoing electric vehicle transition. Its supply deal with Tesla also gives the company a good view of the latest innovations happening in the EV industry. China plays a rather large part in this, as the country is the world's largest electric car market. China sold 3.5 million new energy vehicles in 2021, and the industry continued to grow in Q1 2022. The CATL executive noted that while car sales fell from January to April 2022, year over year, the production capacity of new energy vehicles has more than doubled. And so far, the demand for good electric vehicles definitely seems to be there. Nye noted that from first quarter sales, China's NEV penetration rate has effectively reached 20%. This will likely grow even more as China accelerates its aggressive adoption of electric vehicles. It's not just China either. The European Commission proposed legislation last July that would ban the sale of ICE cars in the EU by 2035. In response to this initiative, Volkswagen has noted that it would stop producing vehicles with combustion engines by 2035. The European Parliament's Environment Committee also expressed their support for the plan. Moving to the next update, 
Idra teases 9,000-ton Giga Press with cool Tesla-inspired color scheme. Idra, the company responsible for producing Tesla's house-sized Giga Press machines, has been teasing its latest and possibly greatest creation yet. While Tesla's 6,000-ton Giga Presses for the Model Y are already monstrous in their own right, Idra has been hard at work building a 9,000-ton Giga Press. Teaser images and videos of the 9,000-ton Giga Press have been posted by Idra on its official LinkedIn page. The machine, which would likely be the company's new flagship, will be previewed in an open house event from June 6 to 14, 2022. Attendees of the event would be able to see the massive contraption up close. The star of the show is the 9000 CS Giga Press. You have the chance to be up close and see firsthand a production machine that is designed to cast the biggest and most complex structural parts being manufactured today, Idra noted in its announcement. While Idra has not formally announced a customer for its 9,000-ton Giga Press, expectations are high that the machine is being built for Tesla. Elon Musk has spoken of an 8,000-ton Giga Press for the Cybertruck, so Idra's new machine could be an updated iteration of the machine that the Tesla CEO referenced before. Interestingly enough, Tesla's iconic clean white and bright red paint scheme is already all over Idra's 9,000-ton Giga Press. This could be seen in teaser images that have been uploaded by IDRA on its LinkedIn page. The paint scheme is similar to Tesla's existing Model Y Giga Presses, present in the Fremont factory in Gigafactory, Texas. Back in April, Elon Musk told the audience at the Cyber Rodeo that IDRA and its parent company, LK Technology, were the only ones that were willing to explore the idea of creating a Giga Press for vehicles like the Model Y SUV. Musk noted that Tesla found six major casting machine manufacturers and five promptly rejected the idea of a Giga Press. It's a revolution in car manufacturing to basically make your car out of three major parts, a cast rear, a structural pack, and a cast front. So what you're looking at are the biggest casting machines ever made. It's kind of a crazy thing to make a car this way. It's never been done before, Musk said. When we were trying to figure this out, there were six major casting manufacturers in the world. We called six. Five said no, one said maybe. I was like, that sounds like a yes. So with a lot of effort and great ideas from the team, we've made the world's biggest casting machine work very efficiently to create and radically simplify the manufacturing of the car," Musk added. If this 9,000-ton Giga Press is delivered to Tesla soon, they can move forward with the iconic Cybertruck's production. Moving to the last update, PWN2 own hackers win $75,000 with Tesla Model 3 exploit. The 15th PWN2 own competition took place in Vancouver last week, giving security researchers the opportunity to earn some big money by putting their hacking skills to the test. Held at the CanSec West Security Conference, the competition sees companies giving up their products to see who can find previously undiscovered exploits within them. One company that is a regular at the event is Tesla, and they returned this year to see who can find an exploit in their car's infotainment system. Only one group was able to do so, and that was the team from Synactive, a security company based in France, on the second day of the competition. In a video, Demonstrating the exploit of the Model 3's infotainment system, David Berard and Vincent Dehers were able to pop open the frunk and activate the headlights and wipers. Due to the lower complexity of the exploit, the team won $75,000. Tesla will now have 90 days to produce a patch, as per the terms of the competition. If their exploit was more complex, they could have walked away with as much as $600,000 and the Model 3 itself. According to the event's website, two other teams attempted to hack the Model 3, but were unsuccessful. That's it for now. So what are your thoughts about this? Let us know in the comments. Stay tuned at the Electric Arena for all the latest Tesla and electric vehicle news.